The British Red Cross has been operating in health and social care since the Second World War. The piece that we find is the missing piece in the jigsaw, is having that person-centred approach. Um, removing barriers between commissioners and providers and the voluntary sector so that we can together focus on what the beneficiary requires, have the input from the service user, so that we really end up with a tailored, uh, uh, one-stop approach to the service user. Far too often we see that people languish in hospitals, uh, take too long uh, over discharge times, and when they come home, what is required are small, subtle interventions along the lines of social care, but all too often the only provision is the hard-edged health care, which means that people feel disconnected, isolated, and can frequently then end up as emergency readmissions. I think the really important piece is to focus on the service user, on the individual, what their needs are. And we need to recast and perhaps pull the budgets in a similar way that community budgets work, so that we have a, a, a whole a heap of funding in one place that can be accessed by the service user. The voluntary sector of the future needs to get smarter at integration, at working together and cooperating in partnership. The role is twofold. Firstly, I believe that the volunteer aspect of much of the voluntary sector can bring real compassion to the lives of individuals. And it's that compassion which our local volunteers can deliver in the home that makes all the difference.